Hello and welcome to a little paint and chat video where I'll be talking about a not so happy development that you've maybe already heard of and since my small art business is impacted by this and yours might be too, I'd like to talk about it. If you're part of the art community and if you're looking for ways to make money off your art, you've probably come across Redbubble. If you don't know them, Redbubble is a print-on-demand service where you can upload your designs, they print it onto products and ship it to the customers. So the only thing you have to do is upload the designs. They do the rest. I've been using Redbubble for a few years now, but I'm not planning on using it anymore. Let me tell you why. Of course, they don't offer their services for free, which is totally fine. Basically, how earning money on Redbubble works is that they have a basic price for every product, which consists of their manufacturing costs and their margin. And you as an artist put your margin on top. Together, this makes the price the customer has to pay. Let's say the basic price for an item is 10 euro and you put a margin of 20% on top. That makes 12 euro in total that the customer has to pay of which Redbubble will get 10 euro and you get your margin, the additional 2 euro. What you're getting is not a lot, but considering that the only thing you have to do is upload your design, for me personally, this was a nice option to make a little pocket money on the side. But here's the thing. A few weeks ago, I received an email from Redbubble that they will raise the prices for the services. What I expected after reading the first sentences was that they would probably raise the basic prices a little more, which would be totally understandable with inflation and everything, but what they actually announced was that they will charge additional account fees and, in result, cut the artist's margin up to 50%, meaning that they will take additional money away from the 2 euro in our example. So worst case, the artist will only get 1 euro instead of 2 euro. Of course, this is only a simplified example. The actual amount of money depends on how much money you make in total in a month. And based on that, they will categorize if your account is a standard, premium or pro account and which fees apply to that category. So let me show you the table of their new fees. Pause the video to read it. It's insane. They are sending a pretty clear sign that they don't appreciate small artists on their platform. Because these fees disadvantage small artists. If you're one of their top artists making more than $500 a month, the maximum amount you pay is $92 and you're fine. So to sum it up, worst case for small artists, like in our example, 50% of your margin is gone. The worst case for a big artist, if they make exactly $500, is 18.4% of their margin gone. And the $92 are a fixed sum, meaning that if you make even more money, let's say $1000, it's only 9.2% of your earnings. Which is still a lot, not gonna lie. I don't know what the people over on Redbubble were thinking when they developed this new model, but let me try to break down my own thoughts. They are giving big creators a huge advantage. This probably means that they don't want smaller creators on their platform anymore who only upload designs occasionally. Which is, from a business point of perspective, somewhat understandable. They want creators that are committed, maybe even bring their own big community to Redbubble. I get it. However, by structuring their fees like that, they are driving away artists who don't have a big community because it's just not that profitable anymore to use that platform as a small creator. Not that it ever was a huge amount of money that you can make from their products because there's so much competition on Redbubble. And if you raise your margin, there are probably a hundred other creators that offer something similar for a little cheaper. So I interpret this as a clear message to small artists like go big or go home. And I personally am going home. I did not make much money off that platform in the past and I actually wanted to put a lot more energy into this platform this year but I think I can use my energy in a better way. I would have to put in so much work to sell enough products to come near that $500 tier when only making a few euros or dollars on one single product. Also, even if I made $500 or more, I would still be pissed off that they take money off your margin. I mean, they have the basic price, which is meant for compensating them, 
if these new fees are meant to be an incentive for creators to put in more work, it's not a very good one. I think they will drive away more people than they will attract to join or make work harder. I wish them all the best and I am grateful for the little pocket money I made of this platform in the past, but I am not planning on uploading any more designs on there. I am going to cross Redbubble off my to-do list and focus on other platforms instead. Let me know in the comments what you think about their new fees and if you'd like to use or continue to use Redbubble in the future. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more art content. Bye!